from Seminole High to Notre Dame to a nine-year NFL career. Center Jeff Fain has anchored offensive lines at every level. Now a full season removed from his last pro game, Fain is focused on his many businesses, from bars and restaurants to real estate to insurance and everything in between, Fain's interests are as diverse as his schedule is loaded. My, my, my day consists of um, it's really kind of like, who knows? <laughs> Fain, perpetually busy, still felt a void. Came up with the idea that we wanted to make an impact uh, locally, make an impact that we could see be tangible and something that we could go visit and, and be involved with. And uh, we wanted to hit a demographic where it really would count. That demographic, the 400 teenagers in Central Florida that turn 18 and age out of the foster care system, leaving them without assistance and guidance. So to help open doors in that transition to adult life, Jeff partnered with Children's Home Society to open the Fane House. So they've essentially been um, through um, you know, a system growing up and, and then are kicked out of it. Science, I have math and social studies. At the Fane House, they definitely have people put in place here to help you to see the overall goal of life, you know, to see that you want to be successful and see that you need a career to potentially survive. There's a connection here that makes things a bit more personal. As an infant, Fane was adopted by loving parents, keeping him from being one of the at-risk young adults that he now feels obligated to help. Uh, my parents are my parents. We've, we've, they've been there since essentially day one, day seven. Once I knew of, of you know, aging out and what comes of that, um, I really knew how lucky I was. And so being fortunate enough to have that situation um, you know, it, it, it comes with, I believe, some responsibility uh, to, to pay it forward. And Fane's message of paying it forward isn't lost on the residents. They have uh, volunteer programs. You have to volunteer if you live here. So it's definitely like we're getting a blessing by staying here, but then we're also giving back while we're young. Fane was used to pushing around defensive linemen. Now he's pushing the envelope. We're looking to eventually expand. Um, you know, that's an initiative that I'm going to keep pushing and something that I hope to continue to expand. It. And that will also open doors to uh, donors and people that want to get involved. 